everyone, it's Hannah and today I'm going to show you how to make these really cute daisy chain bracelets. Look how adorable they are. I just thought they were really cute and quite summery. And really easy to do actually. The only complicated part is sorting out all the ends. But I'll talk you through it, don't worry. And you can even make a longer one, make it into a choker. You may have seen me wear this a few times in past intros because um, I seem to wear it all the time. It's just, it goes with everything. It goes with everything, except for what I'm wearing today. Good organisation there, Hannah. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it. And, well, let's just jump into the tutorial. So to start with, you are going to need various pliers. I've got two pairs of chain nose pliers, but one is fine. I've got some round nose pliers and my side cutters. I have a five millimetre jump ring a small lobster claw or trigger clasp, two necklace ends or calottes, depending on what you call them, and then two teeny tiny crimp tubes. They are a size one crimp tube. I don't know if you can see them there because they're so teeny tiny. Then I have some 0.25 millimeter monofilament thread. It's just a clear nylon thread, kind of a bit like fishing line. I have a size 10 beading needle. This is a soft touch beading needle. Then I have my size eight seed beads. You can use smaller if you like, it will just take an age to make it. Um, I like size eight because they're not too big and they're not too small. So I think they're the kind of perfect size for this. And for this, I will be using green, yellow, and white. And the yellow and the white are the daisy colors and the green is like the stalk. Ingenious. So to start with, you are going to cut about half a meter of thread and then I'm going to thread my needle. Although it isn't essential for you to use a needle, it's just easier for video purposes for me to use it as this thread is extremely see-through, as you can see. So to start with on this end, this is the end of the thread. I am going to thread on one of my necklace ends and I'm going to go through the bottom of it. There's a little hole here, so I'm just going to go through the base of it there. If I stop dropping it, here we go. And then one of the crimp tubes as well, just popping that on there, like so. Then taking a pair of my chain nose pliers, I am um, chasing the crimp tube, sliding the crimp tube up to the top, as close to the end as I can get it, but not quite at the end, and gently squeezing that flat. And you might be able to see that is now completely flat and isn't going to come off, no matter how much I tug this, it's not going to come off and that's just holding that in place nicely. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to thread on four green beads, like so, and push those down to the end, four of my petal beads, them down to the end and then one of the centre colour then I'm going to take my needle back through the very first petal bead that we threaded on which will be this one here so I'm just taking my needle back through there and then pulling it through then I'm threading on three more of my petal colour So, pushing those down, and then I will be going through this bead here, so it's the one next to the centre colour, going up through there, giving it a bit of a wiggle, and there we go, our first flower. Don't worry if your daisy does end up miles away from your stem. What you can do is you loosely hold the beads in your hand or between your fingers like so and then just give the end a tug, a gentle tug, and it should scoot them all down. 
and then you just continue to do that until your bracelet is long enough to fit on your wrist. Now for me that's about 10 flowers, so it might be fewer or it might be more for you. And remember that the clasp will add on um, about one centimetre or so in length, so make sure you leave allowance for that. But until then, I'll be back in a tickety-boo. Okay, so I have my ten flowers. Da -da 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 -da. And then we are finishing off the other end like we started the first end. So we're going through the base of the necklace end, or calotte, depending on what you call it. Plump. And then threading on your crimp tube. And unlike the other end where we're trying to get it as close to the end as possible, um, obviously I have quite a lot of thread left. Well, not quite a lot. I have enough thread left. You don't want to be squeezing. This is why I have my bent nose ones. I just find it easier. So you just put, place it in there and you're pushing it into the base, but not, not too hard. Just, you know, a gentle bit of force. Gently squeezing the two sides together. It might take you a little bit of practice, but you know, you get there eventually. And then what you're doing with your scissors or your side cutters, if you're me, snipping the end off and then taking your chain nose pliers, we are going to close these up. So how I like to do it, or how I was taught to do it, should I say, is you hold half of your necklace end in your chain nose pliers and you gently press the other half against it. Um, which just starts the fold and so when you squeeze it together you should get a nice flush line a nice flush join you have to wiggle it around a little bit that's fine and repeat so holding one half with your chain nose pushing the other half against it and then Washing together gently. That one worked out quite a bit better, which is always nice. You might have to squish it around a little bit still. That's fine. It happens. It happens to the best of us. And then we are just popping on our clasp directly onto the hook. And then taking my round nose pliers, I'm taking the hook and I'm bending it back on itself. So just loosen it round. Like so, it creates a nice little loop to sit your clasp in. Lovely. And then on the other end, I'm picking up my jump ring and doing exactly the same, looping it round back onto itself. Like so. And that's your bracelet finished. See? That wasn't too bad. If you want to make a choker like I have done, I recommend using about a metre and a half of the monofilament. It will prob probably be too much, but like I said earlier, it's better to have too much than too little. Yes, you just start and end it exactly the same way. Threading it's exactly the same. you just got to make sure that you've got more flowers on. So for mine, I have 28 flowers and that's about 16 inch necklace length. So I hope that you like this tutorial. If you yourself decide to make a daisy chain bracelet or choker or any other flower for that matter, don't forget to post a picture of it on Instagram with the hashtag the corner of craft so I can actually see it. It would be pretty cool. I'm also on Twitter and on Facebook and on most other social media so I'll put all relevant links in the description below along with any other information that I think you might need. So don't forget to like it if you like it and subscribe if you want to see more. I post a new video twice a week on a Thursday and on a Sunday so I shall see you on Thursday for my next tutorial. Bye! Oh I'm sorry, extreme close-up of my thumb. Yeah.